My name is Dr. P.C. Patel, retired as a scientist and chief soil health specialist, Matimati Agromada Private Limited, Bhavnagar. I am residing at Anam, Gujarat. So, response of phosphorus and potassium on forage yield, quality, and nutrient uptake of annual Lucent variety. So, we have taken two variety Lucent GL1, that is Anam 2, and another is L3. Lucent grow based in warmer temperature, temperate climate, and consists of small purple flowers as livestock powder. Lucent is fed to the goat uh -huh. and horses, sheep, rabbits, cows, and buffaloes. Alfalfa is called the queen of porridge. So you can see here because of its importance as high quality protein crop. Lucent is also known as king of fodder. Because of the high obtained its palatability and high feeding value. Feeding high quality forage results in greater feed intake and as a result, dairy cows produce more milk and this produced milk is more economical one. So, alpha alpha is best for high producing dairy cattle and horses. So, you can see here, requirement of potassium for lucent. Alpha requirement requires large amount of potassium for its maximum growth potential. Open alpha alpha is considered as a luxury con consumer of potassium. Therefore, when soil Potassium level are limiting the potential of alpha to maximize growth and yield decreases long before any visual symptom of potassium deficiency, such as frontal growth, white spots on leaf margin, and defoliations are observed in the plant. Don't sort potassium leucine stand. Plants require potassium for proper growth and development. It plays indirect role by acting as catalyst regulate enzymatic processes in plant. It influences photosynthesis, cell division, carbohydrate production, protein synthesis, root development, and tolerance to temperature extremes. Improve crop tolerance to drought by regulating water use and can minimize susceptibility to disease. Potassium is responsible for helping plants withstand extreme cold temperature during winter. It also helps with critical processes of nitrogen fixation and nitrogen utilization. Adequate and balanced nutrition maintains a plant vigor and reduces vulnerability to stress. When in proper balance with nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, and other micronutrient, sufficient potassium helps ensure high yields of quality forage. The production and quality of lucent can be increased through the adoption of improved varieties and use of phosphorus and potassium. The nutrients are associated with persistence and soup regrowth of lucent. So for the persistency, potassium is required. So for annual crop and for perennial crop of lucent, potassium is required. The potassium is most important limiting nutrient. The recommendation for seasonal six to seven month growing period, lucent is 25, nitrogen 50 kg phosphorus and 50 kg potassium per hectare. To secure high forage yield and quality of lucent, a present investigation was carried out to find out the optimum rate of phosphorus and potassium for lucent growth for annual. So, this experiment has been conducted at main forest station on an agricultural setting. Anna. The soil was sandy low, organic carbon low, 0.33% available phosphorus, reach available potassium medium, treatment 12, two varieties. GL1 that is 102 and L3 phosphorus level, level 50 and 75, 
kg phosphorus per hectare. It's applied as a basal potassium level 3, 50, 150, and 300 kg potassium per hectare. Half dose of potassium applied as basal and 25% each applied in the beginning of summer and Karib monsoon season. Designed and factorial and limit that is experiments shown in December 2000. Spacing 25 cm apart, seed rate 20 kg per hectare and common fertilizer 25 kg nitrogen per hectare. Effect of phosphorus and K on forage yield and ancillary observation of lucifer. So here we can see that genotype between two genotypes means GL1 and L. L3 illusion, there will be no deep, significant difference in green forage diameter and cool protein yield. Among the phosphoric level also, there will be no significant differences. Potassium levels, there will, there will be significant difference. So application of 300 kg potassium per hectare produce significantly higher green yield than 50 and 150 kg potassium per hectare. Similar also true for dry matter and cool protein yield. Induction effect of variety and potassium on cool protein yield of lucent total of 12 cuts. So we have taken 12 cuts in one year. So application of 300 potassium per hectare gave significantly Higher crude protein is put in 4.69 quintal per hectare by the GL1 variety followed by AL3. Interaction effect of variety phosphorus and potassium on dry material of Lucian in total of 12 cut. So here you can see the dry material is also more at the rate of 75 kg P2 by per hectare along with 300 kg potassium per hectare. So here you can see ALT variety produces the maximum dry material followed by P2K3 and P1K3. In the figure, the similar trend is also for crude protein A. In parenthesis, we have given the crude protein A. So here the crude protein A also observe greatest in 75 kg phosphorus along with 300 potassium per hectare. So here 45.17 quintal per hectare to protein in 44.22 and 43.86. You know that uh, this level also so significantly high potassium uptake. So those treatment produce the high dry material and crude protein yield that treatment also show the higher potassium uptake. Then lower level of phosphorus and potassium. So it is given in table seven, well, table nine, sorry. Here you can see effect of phosphorus and potassium on dry matter and cool protein yield and potassium uptake by Lucer. So here you can see the uptake of potassium. So when we are apply the 75 kg phosphorus and 300 kg potassium per hectare, then uptake is greater as compared to the P50, K50. So it is a recommended dose of the university, uh, but it is low for the annual use. For signal, it is good. But for our annual and perennial use, we have to apply 75 kg phosphorus along with 300 kg potassium per hectare to obtain higher green forage yield, dry material, and crude protein yield, as well as the improve the quality of the use and crops. Interaction effect of potassium. So here you can see that uh, we have taken 12 cuts. So the green for a yield, so it is a mean of the two levels. 
So you can see that we have shown Lucent in December month. So in uh, January, February, March, April, May, up to May, we are getting more than about 1000 or 100 quintal per hectare. But when monsoon season start, then we are, the yield has been declined. You can we see that here in July, over September, the yield has been declined. Similar to for dry matter and similar to for crude protein yield. So here you can see the crude protein yield is given in kg per hectare. Then effect of phosphorus and potassium on NPK uptake of lucent varieties in total of 1 to 12 cut. So here you can see that in potassium level, the uptake of the nitrogen is 590, 569. So at 300 kg potassium, the uptake of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium uptake is greater than the 50 kg potassium per hectare. So there will, there will be direct relationship with the dry matter yield and uptake of the nutrient. Phosphorus level not influence for the nitrogen uptake, P uptake and potassium uptake. The uptake of the potassium is greater in GL1 as compared to L3, but it is non-significant. So interaction effect of variety potassium on nitrogen uptake of leucine in total of 1 to 12 cut. So potassium application of 300 kg potassium per hectare to GL1 produce the maximum nitrogen uptake. Similarly, uh, application of 300 kg potassium at the rate of application along with the 75 kg phosphorus produce the maximum potassium uptake as compared to the other levels. Interaction effect of variety phosphorus and potassium on P uptake. So here you can see that potassium uptake is also greater at a higher level of the potassium. So at 50 kg phosphorus and uh, 300 kg potassium per hectare, so maximum phosphorus uptake as well as potassium uptake. Similar to for the potassium uptake during the individual cut. So economic of potassium fertilizer on use on total of 1 to 12 cut. So I told that that experiment was conducted in 2000s, but I have calculated the recent cost of the grain powder and fertilizer cost. So when you are ap comp apply, compare the potassium level, then application of 300 kg potassium per hectare produce the highest grain foraging, total return, additional return over control, then a net return, 30,862.5 and net ICVR 182.66. Means we are incurring one rupees, then we are getting two rupees and 66 pesos. That is the 300 kg potassium per hectare is remunerating looking to the present price and looking to the present cost of the grain forage of lucent alpha alpha. Economics of interaction of variety phosphorus and potassium also we have calculated and we have observed that a lucent variety L3 when we are applying the 75 kg phosphorus along with 300 kg potassium per hectare, so higher net ICBR and higher net return. So that treatment is best and we are recommended to the farmers as compared to the control. That is variety anon 2 or GL1 or L3 
along with the phosphorus 50 kg and potassium 50 kg. So it is a old recommendation. But for annual use only, the higher phosphatic fertilizer and potassium fertilizer required. So here you can see that it is a phosphorus P50 K150, 150 kg potassium. Here you can see 300 kg potassium. Phosphorus is 50 kg. So you, you see the growth and plant population. Here you maintain the plant population. Then, here, then we have compared it old recommended dose phosphorus 50 and potassium 50 on both the variety. That variety is GL1, that is RM2, and that variety is AL3. So that recommended dose is not sufficient to maintain the lucent plant population per hectare for the annual lucent or for perennial lucent. It is well established that for perennial lucent, the potassium fertilizer require more as compared to the seasonal. In seasonal, phosphorus 50 and K50 is sufficient, but for the annual lucent and for perennial lucent, higher phosphatic fertilizer is required. So recommended fertilizer dose on the basis of the results, the farmers are advised to grow lucent variety AL3 as annual in winter the season, in rich in available phosphorus and medium in potassium, along with fertilizer dose of 75 kg P2 by per hectare and 300 kg K2 per hectare to obtain maximum dry matter and good protein yield and net return and net incremental cost benefit ratio. They could also grow GL1 by fertilizing 50 or 75 kg phosphorus along with 300 kg to obtain higher dry matter and cool protein yield and net return. The potassium fertilizer should be applied in three split, 50% basal, 25% each at beginning of summer and monsoon season, while P should be applied as basal dose. You know that uh, one company, Alamdar Seeds Private Limited, located at Anjar Kutch, and they have also evolved two varieties, Lucen Alamdar 1 and Lucen Alamdar 51. So Lucen Alamdar 1 is annual type, and Lucen Alamdar 51 is a perennial. It remains in the field for three years, and it gives satisfactory yield. And it is interesting to know that we can harvest the Alamdar 51 at the first cut at 45 days of sowing and subsequent cut at 18 to 22 days. The average green forage is 130 to 150 metric ton per hectare in 12 months, whereas average total yield of three years is 330 to 375 metric ton per hectare. So looking to the work of the private company, we have called them when we have inaugurated the, our building main forest project at Anand. We have called them and inaugurated with Dr. Manglarai, Secretary and Director General New Delhi, honor for research in Lucian to Sri Akbar Ali H. Bimani on 17th August 2003. At present, he was not, he was died, but he has done significant work. And at present, his two sons are working. Mr. Riyaz Bimani and Zahida both are working and is my close friend. And he will sell the Lucian seed three to four crores in different states of India. And the demand of the Lucent seed is very much. So here you can see that uh, gear breed from Brazil and average 100 liters milk per day. So you know that gear breed 
is the origin of the Saurashtra area. And the, at present in Brazil, you know that more than one lakh gay cows are there. So you can see here. Mm-hmm. 